I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm tearing. I'm tearing at the corners. Hi friend, Steve Dangle here, and welcome to another episode of Steve's Hat Picks, where we take a look at the best from around the NHL over the past week, except it's not the past week, it's the past two, because last week we showed you the best of hat picks and dang it's for 2021. You haven't watched them yet? Go back and watch them! Did you watch them? All right, you can watch this video now. We're gonna begin 2022 with a little hat pick from Nick Dowd. Half the way to the front block, rebounds loose. Dowd, score! Nick Dowd! Exactly what the doctor ordered. The grind line out there for the Caps and the fans loving it. We've got ourselves a game now. It looked like the Devils were in total control. Just about looked like a double whack at the puck by Nick Dowd. Half the way throws it at the net, hits the defenseman Graves. Yeah, no, this is this is where we're starting. I like this very much because in the best of for 2021, we talked a lot about the Trevor Zegers Dishigan goal to Sonny Milano. You know Trevor Zegers didn't really score. I know! But if I said something and you knew what I was talking about, that's what talking is! Anyway, with the Zegers Dishigan goal to Sonny Milano, we talked about innovations in hockey players, can do stuff that they just didn't used to be able to do. This falls under that category. H how many times have you seen that in an NHL game? And some of you might answer, I've, I've seen it a few times at least. You might have some buddies who pulled it off in practice. Okay, what about five years ago? What about 10? What about 20? Nick Dowd has played 328 games in the NHL and has just 40 goals, but is capable of that. I know it might not feel like it sometimes. I know the schedule has been wonky and a lot of people are in a bad mood these days, but you are currently watching the best era of hockey there's ever been. You're definitely watching the best era of talent there's ever been. Nick Dowd, that is a hat pick. Up next we go to a player who seems to save every goal for hat picks because every goal he scores is spectacular. Anthony Duclair, goal number 100, and it's, uh, it's not bad. We have a report on Bennett, so we do not know why he is a uh, late scratch. Here comes Duclair, he has a step, moving in, Duclair scores! That's where we talked about Anthony Duclair before the game because he's got incredible speed and he's always ahead of the rest of everybody on his line. He likes to create those stretch situations. Transition game evident as always, and Duclair is able to slip between Victor Hedman and Jan Ruda. Ruda was caught on the outside. Victor Hedman, I guess, assumed that Ruda had Duclair. Okay, okay, that's an amazing goal. Can we rewind for the spectacular call? Take scratch. Here comes Duclair, he has a step. Moving in, Duclair scores! Oh, I love that! You can hear the excitement in his voice. I love the the surprised announcer. Like, I love when the people who are paid to cover the game are just as surprised by the hockey that they're seeing as we are. Also, I just love watching Anthony Duclair. First the read to get in there on the breakaway, but then the nasty, nasty move. The Battle of Florida might be the best rivalry in hockey this season. And I'm serious. If you don't think so, I don't think you've been paying attention. Didn't they have a brawl in the preseason? After their playoff series last year, they didn't bother saving it for the games that allegedly count. It's not just that they don't like each other. Every game is a barn burner and features stuff like this. That is a hat pick. Now, for our next hat pick, um, did you know that Jack Eichel was traded by, by the Buffalo Sabres? No, 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 no. We're, we're not gonna talk about it. No, we, we served our time in talking about the Jack Eichel trade. But see, here's what's interesting. Now, um, stuff is happening. Eichel should return to the ice. We're not totally sure, but w within the foreseeable future. But Alex Tuck and Peyton Krebs are currently on the Buffalo Sabres. And this is, this is, this is despicable. <laughs> Saucer pass didn't land. Tage Thompson back to Krebs. Dangles around Riley. And Tuck finds the goal. Al Alex Tuck's first as a Sabre. Yeah, his name's all over the score sheet today. Penalties, now a goal. And these two players were two of the key players that came over in the deal for Jack Eichel. Krebs, first pick by Vegas. You thought he was running out of time and running out of room, but he knew exactly what he wanted to do. Ugh! I can't! Ugh! I'm, I'm, I'm tearing. I'm tearing at the corners. Stop it! Stop! 
<laughs> the goal celebration from Alex Tuck is befitting of it because, you know, Buffalo guy, Rochester guy, but Buffalo area guy scoring for the Buffalo Sabres. That is a pretty cool thing. Kevin Adams wanted to get someone who was stoked to be a Saber, and uh, he is. The other reason it's befitting is that was disgusting Peyton Krebs! Peyton Krebs, who has played 16 NHL games and has a grand total of two assists, and that is one of them! Good gracious. That is, that is a... Uh, that's that's a hat pick. Holy, that we we gotta do more. Oh god, I gotta get something for my stomach from the local store. I, I don't see a drugstore. What about the paddle save and pour him over there? 108 on the power play for Backstrom, advancing with Kuznetsov. He powers his way in. Great feed. Oshi, one more to the front. Sprawling Soros, magnificent on Kuznetsov. Kuznetsov can't believe it. He thought he had the open net, but the right pad saves the bacon in Nashville. There's a pass across. You'll see Kuzi gets it. He fires it towards the net. It's the stick and the right pad. Look at the stick. Just knock it away. He was going to the butterfly. Utilize the stick to keep that puck out of the net. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, I feel, I feel better. But let me ask you a question. What is the benchmark? What is the hallmark? of a great athlete. You might say, well, someone who excels in athletics, someone who can do amazing things. I'll give you my answer. Someone who is a great athlete makes me regularly go, are, are we from the same species? Like, are we made of the same stuff? There's no way I'm made of the same body parts as UC Soros. There is no situation where I would attempt to do what UC Soros did and you wouldn't hear a snap 10 blocks away. I always love the snarky feedback. Hey, a lot of great saves are born out of goalies being out of position. How about a lot of great saves are born of offenses going through team's defenses like butter? The Washington Capitals, one of the most lethal offensive forces in the NHL for a decade and a half now. This is a tap in for them. Mm-mm-mm, says UC Soros. That is a hat pick. Not to be outdone, though, we have another goalie who would like to throw their uh, mask into the hat pick arena. Here's John Gibson. Is that he comes back, he gets that second goal. This is the club that just scored one. McKinnon with the shot, rebound! Saved by Gibson! No, he did not get that right pad down. If Kyle and, and Riker were talking about it between periods. You know, when you've been away for a, for a while, I mean, just frustration set in. I think the... Oh, he did get his pad on him. Again, players cutting through defenses like butter. And oh yeah, it's just Nathan McKinnon and Mika Ranton and no big deal. Are, are they any good? Is producer Drew on this? Again, there is no situation where me or... Don't you feel superior? There's no situation where you attempt to do what John Gibson did and we don't hear a snap from a, wherever you grew up. Even if you currently live in the house that you grew up in, you, you'd hear it. And it's not like this is a trickler either. Like, Gibson does have time to get over, but Rantanen gets all of this puck. He's just stonewalled. Jonathan Gibson, sir. That is a hat pick. For our next hat pick, huh? You know, time comes for all players and... Braden Point has had, you know, some injuries and he's just coming back for one. And as you can see, his skills are diminished. Montreal is on the early parts of this game, but here comes a two on one. Killorn and Point, 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 goal! <laughs> Welcome back, Braden Point. First game back from injury, first tuck. And it was a beauty. Look at this breakout. Great play by Matthew Joseph to recognize Braden Point with the speed coming through the neutral zone. Alex Kalorin stays right with him, drawing the defender, giving Braden Point this space. Okay, I need you to play this one again because that's a great call. It's it's like soccer style. Kalorin and Point. Point, 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 goal. Is that the hockey equivalent of Messi, Messi, Messi? Point, 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 because all his goals should count for three because they are disgusting. Good lord. He, look at Alex Kalorn on this. Can, can we get an ISO cam on Alex Kalorn? Ladies and gentlemen, this is what a decoy looks like. All right, I'm gonna stand here. I'm gonna put my stick on the ice and pretend like this puck is ever going to come to me. He's not getting that puck. Goodness gracious. Brayden Point in his first game back after injury. That is, what did Montembeau do to deserve that? That's a hat pick. Earlier, we showed the Washington Capitals getting stopped. Uh, that's noteworthy because that doesn't happen very often. And it doesn't happen here. Alexander Ovechkin breaks a record. I know, I know, he's, he's been hitting a few milestones this year if you've been watching the videos. And a lot of 
<laughs> Ovechkin's highlights look the same. This one looks just like the others. The other 274. Yevgeny Kuznetsov to Backstrom. Backstrom doesn't try to sauce pass there. Ovechkin, score! The puck went between the legs of Michael Rasmussen. I don't know that it hit him. And then between the pads of Dreis. I'm not sure that he saw that. But when you shoot the puck like this guy does, when I say, if you can't put it around him, you put it through him. That's why you put every bit of everything you've got on a shot every chance you get. And Ovechkin does that, and that's why he's threatening the record of Wayne Gretzky for goals scored all time in the NHL. Yeah, see? Alexander Ovechkin, with one swing of the stick, scores his 275th career NHL power play goal giving him the most power play goals in NHL history and oh yeah just so happens to be the game winner for a dude who can skate like a speeding jeep he really only needs to take like five or six strides per game and why not let's stick with Russians scoring game winning goals in overtime Kevin Hayes Cam Atkinson and Provorov who sneaks in he scores Ivan Provorov wins it in overtime. Provorov going past the blue line. A nice move. Great edge work from Provorov and is able to go with the backhand move and beats Grubauer, but the edge work is great. Gets Grubauer sliding to his right. Isn't able to recover in time for that backhand move. Just a beautiful goal by Philadelphia's Ivan Provorov. Was able to sneak in and ice this one. Ooh. Yeah, that that goal is um, you didn't have to do that. Like you don't have a rivalry with the Kraken. They just got here. What did they do to deserve that? Won't someone think of the Kraken? Boy, I, Ivan Provorov, and most of the NHL so far this season has been giving the Seattle Kraken what I like to call the old school expansion team treatment. I don't know quite how to describe it other than how you doing down there while kicking repeatedly. This is one of those moves where you're like, all right, that's impressive and everything, but you probably could have scored like two moves ago. That, that, that was just excessive. Good Lord. Ivan Provorov. I, I, I looked at my phone. That's what that movement was. I wanted to watch it again. Why don't we watch it again? Show it. And Provorov, who sneaks in, he scores. Ivan Provorov wins it in overtime. Yeah, that's why I wanted to see it again. That's a hat pick. For our next hat pick, this is a beautiful move and one that we've seen before to the point where it's a signature goal with apparently a signature name. I didn't know this, did you? Alexandre Texier with the French poke. Texier comes down that right side, moving in, Texier scores! Oh, Texier brings back the French poke! Right here, between the legs, we remember it against Florida in the past, and he brings it again tonight. Oh boy, what a beauty. So, Nashville. The Columbus Blue Jackets second rounder from 2017 from France. Um, holy cow. He scored a goal that looks similar to this before. And in the past, I have talked about goalies, you know, not knowing what's coming in the shootout because a lot of guys, some guys are really creative and they have a whole arsenal of moves. Other guys, they just stick to literally one. They'll do the same one every time. But a lot of teams don't really study the shootout. They, they do it at the end of practice. They practice theirs. But how much are they scouting the other team? But with Texier, like, I can't even say that as a criticism because how do you prepare for something you've never seen before? Steve, you said he's done it before. Okay, how do you prepare for something you've seen only once? That's a ridiculous goal and that's a hat pick. Wait a sec. What is that's a hat pick in French? C'est un choix de chapeau. C'est un choix de chapeau? That sounds like it's the hat's choice. Is that right? Does I wish I was bilingual. No, I don't think so. That's a hat pick. I, it might be that's a hat pick or it might be the hat's choice. I don't know. I think it's my choice to move on. Coming down to the final two, I, I always talk about this. It's difficult for the Toronto Maple Leafs to get into hat picks. One, because they never win a playoff series, but I'm cha! That hurts. But also because it needs to be particularly spectacular for me to put it in because I don't want people to think I'm biased. Well, this one tied a record that was set before I was born, so I I think it qualifies. Toronto Maple Leafs score two shorthanded goals on the same penalty kill, 27 seconds apart. Back comes Camp. 
Moving up on the play is Hall. It's a two on one. Justin Hall scores. Short handed. And Hall has his first of the year. First short handed goal given up by the Senators this year. 14 06. Time of the goal. And now Kerfoot up ahead. McCann got a step on Lassie Thompson. Scores. Two short handed goals in rapid fire. Here you got the. Lassie Thompson out of the way, and this one underneath the arm on Murray. You could see Murray was backing up. This is unbelievable. Although maybe believable because it was the Leafs and Senators' first game back in many weeks because, I, well, gestures vaguely at the world. But somehow it gave way to Justin Hall and Ilya Mikheyev getting their first goals of the season by scoring two shorthanded goals 27 seconds apart on the same penalty kill. I even said out loud when I saw it, when was the last time the Leafs scored two shorthanded goals in the same penalty kill? Well, apparently the last time they scored two goals in the same penalty kill 27 seconds apart was in 1986. One of the players involved was Boreas Salmi. I didn't know he still played in 1986. Steve, how didn't you know that? I wasn't born! I know Boreas Salming as a guy who's, he's in pictures, I see him in pictures, but he's also a Leaf that shows up at like alumni games, regularly as the oldest guy and the most in shape. The dude still does underwear ads in Sweden. Look it up, or don't. Two shorthanded goals, 27 seconds apart. I don't care who does that. I'm putting it in hat picks. That is a hat pick. And our number one hat pick, I, I can't believe it, that in the first hat picks video of 2022, we might have one that'll be in the last hat picks video of 2022 because it's going to be in the best of the year. Nadia Popovici is a Seattle Kraken fan. She was sitting behind the Vancouver Canucks bench for a Kraken versus Canucks game. Well, she noticed one of the Canucks equipment managers, Brian Red Hamilton, had something on his neck. Well, Nadia, smarter than the average bear, is actually in medical school, and she noticed that the growth on Red Hamilton's neck could be something concerning. So she actually typed a note onto her phone and showed him and said, hey, you should get that checked. To me, it's not even the smarts to know that this is something worth checking out. It's the social bravery to do that at an NHL game. Because my first thought would be, uh, if I show this message to the opposing team's bench, I'm going to get kicked out of the building. And the team just got here. And also, props to Red Hamilton for actually getting it checked out. That could just be some weird fan. Why am I taking medical advice from some weird fan? I've, I've, I don't know them. Well, it just might have saved his life. Because long story short, it was something worth worrying about and he was able to get it removed before it turned into something he really had to worry about. The Canucks told this story on social media and on Twitter and tried to find out who the fan was. Seattle Kraken fans in their infancy gathered together and they found Nadia. Nadia and Red were able to meet, they hugged, and the Vancouver Canucks for an opposing fan as well as the Seattle Kraken, they teamed up to give Nadia a $10,000 scholarship. Of each and Red Hamilton story we shared with you earlier. We mentioned Nadia is headed to medical school. She's been accepted at a number of schools. Kraken honored her during the second commercial timeout tonight. Seattle and Vancouver, both teams combined to award her a $10,000 scholarship. So she's already saved a life. Some of her education's paid for. Nadia's medical career's off to a good start as this story just keeps getting better, John. Good deeds. That's there right. It is. Karma. That is. One of the most beautiful hockey stories I've ever heard. It's in this video now, and hold me accountable if it's not in the best of by the end of 2022. I know it's 12 months from now. This is one of the most astonishing, heartwarming, and fantastic hat picks I've ever seen. Nadia, that's a hat pick. So, whew, that was a long one for the first of 2022. Did we miss any? If we did, I'm sorry. We just showed like, what was, what was that, 15? Well, if we missed any, leave a comment in the comment box down below. So that is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you liked this video. Click subscribe if you really liked it. Tell your friends Nadia and Red Story. Spread it as far as you possibly can because I think we could all use a reminder that there is plenty of good in the world.